When the sinkhole first happened, it was obviously extremely dramatic and the first instance it was a real panic situation for the town centre and the businesses because we literally had one pathway open with huge fencing around, very narrow restrictive access and businesses closed. So the sinkhole itself was quite large and size of the street here in Sheringham isn't very big. So you can imagine that's affected the town here quite a lot. So all in all, it's three months of very complex, intense repair to get the roads reopened as quickly as we possibly can. When we first got here, it was the wrong time of year, but there's no right time for a sinkhole to appear. But as the weeks went on, we got to know the residents, the uh, shop owners, got to know their delivery dates, worked in with those, and it seems to have worked very well together. We built up a rapport. I think we all sort of made a decision together that it was sink or swim, literally, with the, with the sinkhole. And we made the decision that we were going to actually plug everything that we could about what had happened and bring people to Sheringham. I think they've acknowledged the importance of their town centre and hopefully that will help to sustain our town centre, which is very independent at the moment for the future. I've never met a town like it. I mean, there's always something going on. We've met some great friends up here. We'll definitely be revisiting here as well. Everyone at Anglian Water would like to say thank you to everyone here in Sheringham, all the local businesses, the visitors and the local residents for all their support and understanding while we've been here.